Now we go into Gilligan's Island and we're going to talk about all the Illuminati type of warnings that we have. All the warnings for this age, not just uh, against the Illuminati, but the top people that are working for Lucifer, for Yakun, where they try to throw Babylonian symbols even at us to, to look out for. Uh, warnings of people that are trying to take over um, the elite, uh, warnings of witchcraft, warnings of control, warnings of, of uh, how we're to do society uh, and run society between uh, the struggle between men and women. They try to put a divide in the family, as you'll see in a clip, a part of uh, Gilligan's Island. I have several clips actually to show you and uh, about the warnings and also kind of the drilling into the fabric of society, especially the youth, of civil obedience. And if even if that civil obedience goes against God, these evil people, I'm telling you, they're reptilian that are in charge. These head people such as Von Donick and then Sitchin who are trying to tell us about aliens when they're actually demons. So pay attention to this clip and we'll learn a little bit about the people in control. Judgments distress me. Well, no, he talks about owning the world. Even I'm not that crazy. Well, if we did own the whole world, we could build a lovely house in Spain and have the Mediterranean as our swimming pool. Well, what do you say about Gilligan and the Skipper? Oh, well, we never got around to talking about that. Well, just exactly what is his plan? Well, you see, it seems that he could transfer the, the, the brain of one animal to the body of another. Well, what's that got to do with us? He intends to experiment on people. Good heavens, we've got to talk to him. Well, there's no use talking to him, man. He's mad. He won't even talk about So we see the warnings about the type of people that might be in charge. Scientists, uh, they could be working for the CIA, they could be a private company working for the Nazis. But either way, we do know that the elite are in charge now. And they are the ones that are called the Luciferians and Illuminati. And uh, you see several warnings in Gilligan's Island, actually. Uh, we watch out for it. Here. I'm beginning to get suspicious. Who's suspicious of what? Of a guy living on a lonely island in the Pacific all by himself. Oh, Ginger, we shouldn't criticize. We should be grateful. Hansel and Grail said the same thing just before the witch slammed the oven door. <laughs> He's a bit odd, perhaps. But he is going to save us. Save us for what? <laughs> Now, even though there was warnings right there about scientists and uh, hybrids, we'll be getting into or genetics and making hybrids and all kinds of DNA manipulation that we're going to see here in this clip. There'll be some warnings about channeling spirits and, and uh, just regular societal type of things. But here we go. Here's about some uh, of the human genetics that they're planning. Yes, and to worse than it there, uh, talking about human genetics. Now, this was done back in the days of Noah, and, and the Bible even tells us in the, in the book of Enoch, which most people should read, warns us of this generation where they would be doing that again, and that it would be worse. So here we're going to go a little bit further in the, in the Gilligan's Island about how they show human genetics being engineered and uh, manipulated. Uh, gee, Mrs. Howell, does that mean we're married? <laughs> it said terrible things were happening, but I didn't expect anything like this. Gilligan, what happened? 
Well, I'm nothing. He put us in some glass booths. Will you stop answering for me? Has everyone gone mad? There's a mirror in my purse. You better take a look. Okay. <laughs> hey, Mr. Howell, what are you doing in that mirror? Let me see that. Good grief, I've been short-changed. I've got Gilligan's body. Buddy, is that really you? You're not my little buddy. He is. I resent that, Captain. <laughs> I'm getting so I don't know who anybody is anymore. When you were in his laboratory, did either one of you see a way to escape? When I was me, I was too scared. It's hopeless. Absolutely hopeless. Justin, I can't stand that voice coming out of your head. Love you. And like I said, besides the uh, human genetics, we'll be talking about uh, channeling and, and, and how they show uh, how spirits affect uh, humans, and that uh, these things that everybody think are, you know, superstition and everything is really just demonology. And that's simple. And as long as you stay away from it, you'll be all right. Super superstitious nonsense. Oh, I suppose you have a logical explanation for this whole thing. Well, as a matter of fact, I have. I would say it was a geological phenomenon caused by volcanic activity beneath the Earth's surface, resulting in the concentration of heat in a specific location. That makes sense to me. There's only one thing I don't understand. Uh, what's that? How come the ground got so hot underneath our feet? <laughs> now look, Professor, I don't know anything about geology, but I do know something about voodoo. And what's been happening is voodoo with a capital V. Yeah, and a capital O and a capital do. <laughs> Think about it. This island must be full of evil influences. Now, you get a mad and there's no telling what will happen to you. I do not believe in evil spirits. Now, I told you time after time after time. Talking to him is like talking to a wall. You notice anything different about the professor? There's nothing different about the professor. He's just as stubborn as he ever was. <laughs> Sleeping. Oh, yeah, his eyes are open. Professor? 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 He's an alarm clocker. Oh, cock a doodle He's not sleeping. He's been turned into a zombie. Zombie? Help. Help. So we see even Gilligan's Island admits that they're evil spirits. These are evil spirits we are talking about. We're not talking about magic. We're not talking about anything special. This is all demonology, such as Yahweh warns us against, and that these evil spirits are of the Nephilim. They are the children of the fallen angels, and that there will be a lot of Babylonian images and concepts flashed here on Gilligan's Island, as you will see. And we'll touch into that right now. There's a medallion that wing a disc around Marianne's neck. But pay attention. Gilligan, what does this mean? I don't know, Skipper. I felt like I didn't have any control of myself. Well, how do you explain that, Professor? Well, it's really quite simple and based on the power of suggestion. <laughs> the seeds of fear were planted in your minds. And you all succumbed to the notion that voodoo and witch doctors really do exist. Now, naturally, having read books and seen motion pictures and television shows, you all began to react to what you had seen. <laughs> So we see that magic in a worldly sense does not exist, but in a demonic sense does. So these voodoo doctors and stuff like that, yes, they can get things that happen that makes it look like magic, but it's not magic. It's having spirits do it for you, evil spirits that you don't know about because it's uh, dimensions that our eyes aren't used to. But here, we go into the next part. And while you're at it, check out this Babylonian winged disc uh, medallion around Mary Ann's neck. <laughs> Stop digging for this stuff. I told you it was probably buried by some ancient tribe. They're probably protected by a taboo. Taboo? Not taboo. Taboo. Like in voodoo. This old place is probably under the curse of a witch doctor. <laughs> Come on, get it. Let's get out of here. This place is giving me the creeps. I can't stand up. You can't stand up, little buddy. You really can't stand up? You're standing on my hands. <laughs> Come on, Gilligan, let's go. Ow, please. What is it? Somebody jammed me in the neck and 
It could have been you because you're in front of me and there's nobody behind me, so I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh is right. That voodoo's beginning to work. Come on, everybody. Let's get out of here. So we see how even objects are associated with this uh, so-called voodoo and witchcraft and stuff that's just really just basic Luciferianism and praying to fallen angels that are already condemned, such as Azazel, who is the one ascribed all sin by Yahweh that uh, taught instruction to mankind from the beginning that knocked us off course. But here's a piece about money. This is embedding in our thoughts how important money is and they can fix everything. I've often told people that Mr. Howe represents the uh, the power elite, the one that seems to get out of everything with money, and even on the show he does. And, but anyway, we're going to go into this next piece about uh, the power of the countries and the secrets that go on and how that is overblown and a lot of times, but at the same time there are a lot of secret things that are happening within our government we don't know about. But don't you see, this was probably taken from a United States secret agent. He probably gave his life defending it. And the enemy agents who killed him are undoubtedly still after it. You mean they may come to this island to look for the case? In their efforts to uncover United States defense plans, they will leave no stone unturned. What are we going to do? Don't hide under a stone. And where I've labeled Mr. Howe as the uh, power elite, I also have different functions for the other people castaways on the island such as the head of industry which would be skipper uh, the top science t scientist uh, kind of represented by you know professor and then you have Gilligan who's just the average Joe and you have Marianne who's a humble girl and you have the movie star uh, that's pretty much it So we see not only do we have all this uh, Illuminati disruption going on for head control and channeling and demonology and such, but we have where Gilligan's Island tries to show us that there'll be social disorder and that they're trying to tear families apart, excuse me, and tear the ideals of women and men into pieces and somehow cause disorder. So take a look at this and we'll have an end statement. You're not laughing, lover. <laughs> Promising me to be able to have our own for weeks now. Well, I'll get to it by and by. But I'm not asking for anything elaborate. Just a little split level hut or a palm tree tent house. Well, I'm afraid you women are going to have to face the facts. Historically, it's the man who decides what should be done. Yeah, 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 yeah. Haven't you ever heard of Mrs. Strata? Yeah. Isn't that a mouthwash? Mrs. <laughs> Strata was a woman who lived thousands of years ago, and she persuaded all the women in her town to ignore the men completely. Unless they got what they wanted. Well, I think we should all act like Lysis, Lysis, Lysis Strata, dear. Lysis Strata. That's Greek to me. Hey, could you just say, women who stand on right sometimes get left. <laughs> Now, for the youth that this was intended for, and for people in general, this is pretty much brainwashing us and warning us at the same time. Because, see, when Satan does things against us, he has to give his warnings. Uh, that is part of the, his uh, rules under the God Yahweh. Uh, he cannot do anything without Yahweh say so. So people be aware of these things out here. Uh, and it's not just Gilligan's Island. Uh, all these shows, all this Hollywood. They've even made cards to warn us, the Illuminati has, as warnings of their mind control and how they're not just planning this, this 
false this all this elaborate stuff to get us back into old Babylonian worshiping concepts uh, but they're going to push something uh, to a false flag alien invasion even uh, anything to control the minds of people and to trick them the, the, the illusions that they've got right now already that are tricking people is just unbelievable and people are falling for it so watch what you see on Hollywood this is pretty much everything on TV is all program you know made to to help sway you towards their ideals and uh, it does influence us we know that for a fact people we do and we see how our kids act whenever they see this type of stuff this is what you just seen was some of the celebrities who have sold their souls openly have said this to the devil or uh, worship some fallen angel like uh, Beyonce with Sasha Fears, that's the demon that enters her when she does things. But these people, the English monarchy, are, are of a reptilian seed and they're evil and have got their way now and are running this country. And you must be warned of the Trilateral Commission, which is pretty much ran by the people in the Bilderberg group. And they make all the decisions. These are the rich elite. So people get the word out there. Warn your friends. This is not worth going to hell over. Realize that Yahshua is the only way. Thank you, people. This is Dan Mollahan on the Oshawa Servant Channel.